हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू स्पेक्ट्रम क्लासेस दिस इज माय लैब एक्टिविटी वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिटरमिन द परसेंटेज ऑफ अवेलेबल क्लोरीन इन द ब्लीचिंग पाउडर सो हियर द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज दैट व्हाट इज ब्लीचिंग पाउडर सो ब्लीचिंग पाउडर इज एक्चुअली इज ऑल्सो नोन एज क्लोरिनेटेड लाइम एंड इट इज ए येलोइश व्हाइट पाउडर हैविंग ए स्मेल ऑफ क्लोरिन गैस एंड इट इज रेडिली सोल्यूबल इन वॉटर how it is prepared it is prepared by passing the chlorine gas over the slaked lime at a temperature of 35 to 45 degrees centigrade and its formula is cocl2 right now coming to the percentage available chlorine so if we are having cocl2 its formula then what is the need of doing this percentage of available chlorine so the need to do this percentage available chlorine is that this bleaching powder shows bleaching action right and that is why it is very industrially important apart from this bleaching action it has got strong germicidal and disinfectant properties also and it find application as a disinfectant for drinking water or swimming pool water and its bleaching action or its disinfectant action both are solely dependent on the percentage of available chlorine right so that is why it is important to determine the percentage of available chlorine in the bleaching powder sample apart from this you may also have a question why we are calling it available chlorine why not chlorine so that we are going to discuss in the upcoming slides now let's start with the video first we are going to discuss what kind of solutions we require to perform this experiment so we require bleaching powder solution we require starch solution which is freshly prepared and we require sodium thiosulfate solution of known concentration in this case i have m by 10 sodium thiosulfate you can also use some other concentrations and to standardize this sodium thiosulfate solution we require primary standard potassium dichromate solution and in addition to all these solutions we require potassium iodide 10% solution or you can use as a solid potassium iodide now coming to the how to prepare these solutions so preparation of bleaching powder accurately weight 2 grams of bleaching powder is taken in the clean glass mortar crystal and to that i have added a small amount of deionized water and make a smooth paste of that bleaching powder and that smooth paste on further addition of some deionized water is transferred to the measuring flask and make sure that all the bleaching powder paste is transferred to the measuring flask with the help of deionized water that is important then make up the solution up to the mark that is up to 100 ml with the help of deionized water as i am having 100 ml measuring flask so this is how you are going to prepare the bleaching powder solution the next preparation of starch solution preparation of sodium thiosulfate solution and standardization of sodium thiosulfate solution i have already make videos on on these three topics and uh, i will give the link of those videos in the description box so you can go and check there however i have written over here how much amount i have taken in how much of the solution now the question which i asked earlier why we call it available chlorine rather than we call it chlorine only right so before that i just tell you this bleaching powder is also known as chlorinated lime this bleaching powder on reaction with acetic acid it produces the chlorine gas and this chlorine gas which it produces is known as available chlorine which varies from 35 to 40% now the question comes why not 100% it is available to us because this bleaching powder is hygroscopic in nature and it reacts with water and on reaction with water this bleaching powder produces chlorine gas and this chlorine gas is released earlier and therefore we always get lesser chlorine than the expected concentration of the chlorine 
that is why we call this chlorine as a available chlorine rather saying it chlorine only fine how we are going to calculate we define this available chlorine to be in grams of chlorine liberated from 100 grams of bleaching powder that is in percentage we report the available chlorine usually how now we see the lab activity how to perform this experiment in the laboratory so we require these three solutions sodium thiosulfate bleaching powder and starch i have taken 25 ml of bleaching powder in which i have taken 2 grams in 100 ml right so this 25 ml of this bleaching powder solution i am going to transfer into the conical flask this i am going to add glacial acetic acid and after that i just lid it to this solution i am just going to add potassium iodide in the solid form so as soon as i will add this potassium iodide you can see the brown color of iodine liberated right and lid it and also cover it because it is light sensitive so this is i am showing you just for your observation right so how it looks like you keep it for 5 minutes and then we are going to titrate it m by 10 in a hypo solution the initial leading is 0 you can see the lower meniscus now we are going to titrate it so we titrate it up to the faint yellow color now you see the color is slightly decolorized now we are going to add starch solution as an indicator this starch will form purple color complex with the free iodine which is present over there now we again titrate it till the color disappears so this is the end point now we are going to check the burette reading so the burette reading is it is 9.5 fine now the reactions and calculation part we have seen this lab activity and from this lab activity i have made an observation table i have taken 25 ml of bleaching powder solution and uh, that time the initial reading of the burette was zero and on titration of this 25 ml of bleaching powder solution the volume consumed of the sodium thiosulfate is 9.5 which is the difference between the final reading to initial reading so i got 9.5 ml now coming to the re reactions and calculation part so what kind of reactions taken place over there this reaction actually we have already discussed so i am not going to elaborate it further so this chlorine gas which is produced over there that reacts with the potassium iodide which we have added and this chlorine on reaction with this potassium iodide it produces iodine and this iodine which is liberated over here it reacts with the two moles of sodium thiosulfate so here in this manner one mole of bleaching powder which produces one mole of chlorine and this one mole of chlorine produces one mole of iodine and this one mole of iodine reacts with the two mole of sodium thiosulfate or we ultimately say that one mole of bleaching powder reacts with two moles of sodium thiosulfate 
So actually why I emphasize this because we are going to use this equation in the calculation part. Okay, now the calculation part. So here as I told you earlier for redox titration we usually use A1 and A2 coefficients where A1 is the number of electrons gained per formula unit of bleaching powder in the balance equation of half cell and A2 is the number of electrons lost per formula unit by hyper solution so in this man either you can understand that a1 is 2 and a2 is 1 but if you have any confusion so i have simplified this one mole of bleaching powder reacts with one mole of iodine and on or you can say one mole of iodine reacts with two moles of sodium thiosulfate if we cancel out this one mole of bleaching powder reacts with two moles of sodium thiosulfate so here m1 v1 upon one this one right m2 v2 divided by this two so if i cross multiply this so i will get two m1 v1 is equal to one m2 v2 so here a1 is two and a2 is one in either way whichever you find suitable you can do in that way also right now the calculation part so this is the equation so i put all the values here so 2 into m1 which is not known to me i have taken 25 ml of this this bleaching powder is this is equal to 1 into hypo solution concentration is m by 10 into 9.5 volume consumed m1 is equal to this much we on calculation i will get 0.019 molar to determine the strength or in grams what i have to do i have to multiply this molarity into molecular weight of chlorine gas so molarity is 0.019 mole per liter into 71 grams per mole is the molecular weight of cl2 and on multiplication i will get 1.349 grams per liter so this is 1.349 grams per liter or we can say 1 liter or 1000 ml contains 1.349 grams of Cl2. Since I have prepared rather than 1000 ml, I have prepared it in 100 ml. So what I need to do, I need to divide both the sides by 10. So I will get 100 ml. So on dividing it by 10, I will get 100 ml and on division by 10, this side I will get 0.1349 grams of Cl2. For percentage of available chlorine, what we need to do? This much is produced by 2 grams. So 100 is for percentage, we need to divide this by 2 grams, which I dissolved in the 100 ml sample, and this is multiplied by 100 for percentage. Solving this, I will get 6.75% is the available chlorine on dissolving this 2 grams of bleaching powder in 100 ml solution. And the final result is 6.75%. So I hope you understand this experiment. If you find this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you all. Thanks for watching.